Okay, uh, my name is uh, PD Dr. Lukas Bayer from the University Hospital Regensburg. Um, I'm a senior physician working here and I've specialized in interventional oncology and also in interventional radiology. Um, I have been working here for six years now and I've started to specialize in interventional oncology about two or three years ago. Um, we are doing a lot of minimally invasive tumor treatment, which includes ablation treatment, embolization treatment, and also a lot of biopsies of different organs. The main focus is liver, but we are also doing treatment of kidney tumors, prostate tumors, lung tumors, and many more. Um, the main focus was to look at the diagnostic valence of the traditional side notch biopsy systems and compare it to the new full core system. Um, we had a blinded pathologist who rated all the, um, all the biopsies or the specimen we took and we concentrated really on the um, objective values like um, diameter, length of the, um, of the specimen and also on subjective um, parameters like the subjective quality and the fragmentation rate. Um, actually, we did two assessments. Um, we did a subjective reading. Um, the pathologist had to grade the specimen on a grade from 1 to 6, and also the uh, fragmentation rate was uh, graded from 1 to 6. And we also had uh, objective evalu evaluation of the specimen, which included the length and the diameter of the uh, samples. Um, well, myself, um, the pathologist, Dr. Utpatl, and my assistant, Dr. Scheible. Um, we included 32 patients, 16 patients in the side notch arm and 16 patients in the full core arm. Yes, it was. Actually, when I started working here, we, we only had a side notch biopsy system, and so I was used to using it. Um, but I was keen on, on trying something else, so I was looking forward to try the, the full core system. Um, not for liver punctures, actually. I think there are one or two papers on kidney biopsies and also on prostate biopsies, but I think it's the first paper uh, about liver biopsies. Yes, it's very similar actually. It's the same handling is actually not different at all. Um, so it's really easy to work with. Um, actually, when I do liver biopsies, I always use the coaxial technique because you always have to take at least two samples, at least one sample from normal liver tissue and one sample from the tumor. So I always use the, the coaxial technique. So usually I take three probes, two probes from the tumor and one probe from normal liver parenchyma. Um, actually, we had a significant difference um, regarding the quality of the um, samples. Um, the full core samples were graded better than the side notch samples by the pathologist. And we also had a different, uh, difference, significant difference in the fragmentation rate. Um, and also in the diameter of the specimen was different. Um, Actually, when you look at the probes microscopically, you can see they are not fragmented at all, at least most of them, which is a difference. Um, of course, I knew which biopsy system I was using, but the pathologist was blinded, so she, I always asked her which system is better, but she couldn't tell me because she didn't know which system we used, actually, so I have to rely on the um, evaluation.
Actually, you, I didn't know what to expect, honestly, because uh, I, uh, we didn't have a lot of information, so just some technical information. You can believe in it or not. So that's why the idea of, of uh, performing a, a study came up in the first place.